Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we are going to be doing uh, the start of a brand new series. So we're going to be doing a series called Will It Bot here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take random items like this uh, soda or soft drink bottle and turn them into combat robots. So the rules are going to be relatively simple. Uh, they need to be a legal combat robot of any weight class as long as it is an available weight class. Uh, they need to hold some form of resemblance to the original item uh, when they're finished and I'm going to say they also do need to have a weapon at the end. I can't just turn like this bottle into a wedge for example, I need to give it some form of active weapon. However, I will be saying that stuff like uh, EDFs as in electric ducted fans count as a weapon and also melty brains. Melty brains are a body spinning robot that yeah, you can argue does have a weapon but the weapon is code rather than anything else but like I said it needs some form of weapon it needs to be something other than just a basic wedge so to start this all off I have this bottle here in front of me I picked this up uh, when I went and got some fast food one time and I just like the color and the overall shape of this nose piece up here so I'm gonna try and cut this down and turn this into a combat robot so I'm actually so confident that this is going to work. Uh, I'm actually going to do an instructable on this, so you have a look in the description down below. There'll be an instructable on how you can take a bottle like this and turn it into a combat robot as well. So, obviously I now have my item, and as soon as I had my item, I needed to work out what type of weapon I wanted to put in this. And I was hunting through my house, and I found these. These are tiny little scalpel blades. So I think we're actually going to turn this guy into a axe weapon using some of these scalpel blades as the weapon. So kind of thinking that we'll cut the top off down here and have an axe that goes this way over the top. So obviously because this thing is so small we're going to go for a 150 gram ant weight combat robot and of course power that with my Arduino boards that I've used in the past. Alright let's get cracking. So now we have these uh, estimations, I guess you could call them, of uh, the shape that we need for this bottle. So obviously all I've done is just cut this bottle down and kind of traced around the edges of it to make these up, these little shapes. So this one here, the one that I've just selected, that's going to be the base plate. It's way, way too thick right now and it is actually too big. Uh, so then, well, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, so these things, yeah, two, they're both too big. This one is the back plate for the thing. Uh, so we need to get these scaled correctly. So we're going to have a quick look at the smart scale. And yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, this thing is 288 uh, millimeters inside the CAD software. But in reality, it's supposed to be 80 millimeters. So if we just stretch this all the way down till it hits 80, which is like that. And then we need to scale the other way as well. So the other side should be kind of around about hmm, 90, I reckon. Here we go. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, about 88, actually. So now we're going to grab the other side and drag that down to 88. And grab this side. Oh, come on. Not what I wanted to do. Grab the yellow handle. Uh, we'll just go to 88 on that side. 
There we go. So that's a lot better. That's closer to the size we want. And then we need to shrink this down a little bit further here too. Um, by grabbing hold of the top plate here, pushing that down quite a long way because that uh, that's up very, very high right now. That's still too big, but we're going to now size up this guy, mate these across the back here. This is going to be a very awkward shaped uh, combat robot, but that's okay. It's going to be awkward no matter what we do with it. Okay, so here we go. We've got the uh, all the motors mounted up in the CAD. So we've got our servo motor that's going to be doing the axe that goes up through the top up here. Uh, and we've got our back motors that do the drive. But as you can see, uh, these are going to be a bit of a problem. These are definitely too close and cutting it too close under here. So we're going to have to cut some space out of there uh, to fix this all up. But that should be okay. Things are re looking relatively lined up. This is going to be a bit of a wonky bot anyway. I don't think it's ever going to look superb, I guess, but we'll see how we go. I also need to do up some tabs uh, that the um, soda bottle is going to screw into. So those are going to be sitting kind of along the front edges here uh, that will have some bolt holes in them that will then just drill. Uh, well, just push some bolts into that will hold the outer shell on because the outer shell I kind of want to have removable so that I can get into the internals and change batteries and all of that kind of stuff that you will need to do on a combat robot. But the CAD is coming along quite well. The next thing we've got to do, of course, is get the actual axe weapon going.
And there we go. One robot, almost, kind of, sort of, maybe. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure how the well this is going to work. It's all a little bit weird right now, but through the start, the arm does raise and lower. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be able to raise high enough right now, but it does get there. It does move, so that's a good start. Um, yeah, so I think let's uh, let's test this thing out and see how it goes. So there we go, that is the very first episode of Will It Bot, and uh, in this case I think it will. I mean we did have that weapon failure here, um, but on the whole, it still kind of sort of looks like a bottle, it does have a weapon. That weapon failure was because I only finger tightened that nut, and really I probably should have had two up there. Um, I To do this again, I would, or to do some changes and upgrades, I'd reprint the shell and thicken up the holes that I used to actually bolt down the outer shell and I would work out a better way of having my uh, power cable because that is my power cable right there right now and that is sketchy as anything else but there you go that is the very first will it bot and yes a soft drink or a soda bottle will definitely bot it looks really cool I am actually I'm really happy I tried this this green plastic is just really interesting especially with all of these kind of electronic components all through it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bolt this back on, take a photo because I completely forgot to take a photo of this thing for Instructables. And then I'm going to go ahead and write an Instructable for this. So if you, uh, if you want to build something like this yourself, check out the Instructable link in the description below. Also, you might have noticed I had a little bit of trouble uh, controlling this thing in that last little clip. That's because I wired up this motor backwards uh, which meant that to drive forwards I needed to pull left on the stick and then to drive uh, forwards I needed to go the other way which meant that I was having a little bit of trouble controlling the robot on the whole but other than that it worked really well and this lifting arm or this hammer arm is quite funny doesn't have a whole lot of power but uh, maybe with something a little bit heavier on there or maybe something a little bit sharper it could actually inflict some damage. But there you go, that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed this one, please subscribe because I will continue putting out weird and wonderful robotics projects just like this one. And I will see you in the next video.